Today, I'm going to teach you how to make figure using Reality Halo 1 3D printer. For almost 7 months of having this printer, I experienced a lot of failures and a lot of confusions. But eventually, I managed to overcome those challenges. And now, I'm going to share you how to print easily on this printer. But there are two more programs you need to use. And if you're just new on this channel, please do like, follow, and subscribe for more interesting and entertaining videos. So without further ado, let's go! So if you know how to create 3D models or 3D characters, you have an edge here. But for those beginners and don't have any idea on how to create their own characters, you can go on these sites, quotes3d.com or sketchfab.com. Some of the models here are free, some of the models you have to buy it. So for example, I have here a figure that some parts are missing. I'll try to create this missing part using a 3D software. By the way guys, I use Autodesk Maya, but I have a little knowledge in creating 3D characters, so bear with me. Okay, so we're done modeling this object. Let's jump into Cheeto Box. So if this is your first time to use the Cheeto Box, you need to go to the settings and choose the printer you are using to match the size in your Creality Halo 1. Here at the upper left part, click and open your STL file to upload your 3D. So the first thing I'll do is to resize the 3D model. By the way, you can use all the tools here at the left side. Move, Rotate, Scale, and Mirror. Mostly, I only use those three. Move, Rotate, and Scale. Let's bring in the ruler so we could accurately measure the size of the 3D to match the figure. By the way, I downloaded this ruler and I'll put the link below for you to download this. So I want to show that I have a spare part so I just duplicated this object by clicking this. Now I uploaded again another object. One of my figures has a missing smoke pipe. So I just created this model and of course, I'll measure it again and duplicate this object. So I have a size variation. You'll just have to click the lock ratio to resize the figure on some certain parts. And now, that's why I'm reserving this space. I have one more object to print. So this is Spore from Dragon Ball. So the first thing I'll do is to rotate this cut and find the better angle to be able to attach supports properly. And then I'll select all of them by pressing Ctrl Shift and left click. And now all of them are selected, you'll go here, select the hollow, then set the thickness to 3mm, then click start. So if you move this bar, you will see that there's a hollow part inside the pore model. That would be a problem because the resin will stuck inside. So what we're going to do is to dig a hole. So select this and set the size. Depends on how you want the diameter of the hole and the depth. Now let's add the hole. I choose under the model or on his butt. After printing, you can just put some epoxy so it would be closed. Usually I put two holes for air exit and for resin exit. And now let's attach some support on these objects. Select them all and go to this icon at the top right. Here you can set them up manually. But usually I use the auto manual support option. Click this plus all button. Now go back to the settings tab. And now let's click the slice. Here you will see all the details of the output of your print. The machine use, resin, volume, weight, price, and most importantly the time. So this will be the approximate printing time. And now hit the save button and we're not done yet. Now we'll use the second program, the UB tools. So let's jump on it. So here in UB tools, just drag your save file from Cheeto Box and then wait until it loads up. Now if you drag down this control, you will see the process of how your figure will be printed. And this is how you will save your final file for printing. Go to File, Convert, and go to Reality CXDLP. And now the final file is ready. Now I saved my file on this USB. And let's go to our printer. First, let's loosen the screws of our printing plate. And then insert it on our printing machine. Lock the top screw. Once it's done, turn on your printer. Go to Settings, Z-Axis Movement, Leveling, then insert a plain paper under the plate so it will not scratch the LCD of your machine. Now tighten up the screws of your printing plate. After that, you can now remove the paper under it. Then hit the Auto Home to lift the printing plate. You can now insert the resin tab. Just tighten the screws. Then let's insert our USB. So here in our screen, click back, then File, 
then choose the file you want to print so as you see this is a different file that i print you'll see here the printing time and the layer count now let's pour our resin to our tub just be careful of this chemical cause this is a toxic substance now you can hit the start button and put the cover on our machine to avoid bad odor and of course the light rays to pass through our resin one eternity later so our printing is done now we'll just wear gloves because we'll be holding this printed figure remove the cover of your machine loosen the top screw remove the plate and voila here's our final product now let's clean it with water and soak it on alcohol for five minutes then rinse it outdoor i don't have a curing machine yet so i let it dry on the sun for a day or two so the good thing here is you can return the unused resin just pour it back in the bottle just make sure that you will use strainer now you can remove the supports and do a little bit of sanding and color your figure now we're done thank you for watching this video for more interesting and entertaining videos don't forget to like follow and subscribe our facebook and youtube channel see you soon